Hi, this is Rich Carlson. Welcome to another episode of The Art of Rope Work here at Canyons and Crags. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can make otherwise marginal anchors into bomber anchors by using friction and meat backups. Now, subscribe, hit that like button, then grab your gear and a rope and follow along. This is a scale designed for weighing big fish. It has a capacity of 50 pounds. And this is a 53 pound kettlebell. I'm going to set up a couple of experiments to see if employing a bit of friction in a rope system can keep this kettlebell from exceeding the capacity of this scale. I heard somewhere that you need two tests to be scientific so I'm doing three to be super scientific. For the first test, I rigged a simple knot chalk anchor. Then I rigged my scale in line between the webbing and the rope. You'll see there's not a lot of contact of the rope going over the edge because of the rough nature of the rock. The kettlebell was suspended in midair. Now looking at the scale, it peaked at 21 pounds. That means friction was holding 60% of the load. In the second test, you'll see there's a lot more contact between the rope and the rock, gaining quite a bit more friction. Like before, the kettlebell was suspended in midair and the scale was rigged in line. Looking at the scale, it reads about 18.5 pounds. That means friction was holding about 64% of the load. For the third test, I found a nice sturdy shrub as an anchor. The rope extends over an edge close to 90 degrees. And in this test, the kettlebell was up against the rock. When you look at the scale, it read right at 16 pounds. That means friction was holding 70% of the load. When rappelling on marginal anchors, we take advantage of friction by doing something called a soft start. If you start to rappel facing the anchor with your heels hanging over the edge and just lean back, you're creating a lever and you're actually a load multiplier. Soft starts are from a sitting position. Even maintaining contact with one of your butt cheeks up against the rock as you go over the edge until you're far enough down that you know there's rope contact that'll give you a friction advantage. As Adolfo rappelled over the edge, the shrubbery anchor was being backed up by two pieces of meat, Shane the ribeye and Dana the filet mignon. There are a variety of ways that you can connect the meat backup anchors. Ideally, they're rigged releasable. In this case, with two VT pressings within Shane's reach. You want the connection to the meat backup to be releasable so the load can be shifted onto the shrubbery to test it. Next, Shane the ribeye is rappelling on the shrubbery which is now backed up only by the filet mignon Dana. And repelling last is Dana, the filet mignon. Her confidence is fairly high because she saw the shrubbery tested by both Adolfo and Shane. But you can bet she's serious about her soft start technique.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you think it will benefit others, please share it on your favorite social media. The best way to keep this old man motivated to produce more videos like this one, while I still can, will be to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.